So now I really understand the medical holistic industry is purposely trying to deceive people. Like I get it now because lymphedema, edema, all these different uh, water retention inhibitors, when people go through different diet changes or different diagnosable diseases, uh, it's because of the, the antidiuretic hormone that is being triggered because the body is dehydrated. And so salt makes sure the person retains the water so they don't freaking die. That's when people do that, when they do the jelly juice and they become swollen in the beginning, it's because the body the body's trying to retain water. You gotta drink a lot of water to release the water. If you don't drink enough water on, on the jelly juice or have or drink enough water on any kind of salty type of um uh, food or drink, then your the body is going to go into its own defense mode and bring up an antidiuretic hormone that then uh, triggers the kidneys to increase the blood flow, and so that way water is retained. See, the medical holistic industry is purposely lying to you guys by saying that salt is dehydrative, salt is causing high blood pressure. No, it's quite the opposite. And so now I can actually comfortably say, and it's not a conspiracy, that the medical holistic industry is purposely deceiving people. Because when you are trying to scare people away from the salt, that induces an immune response. And then you don't give your body what it needs and you have to keep going through the pills, powder, supplements, and detoxes, and then procedures. You are essentially giving your body away to, to the medical holistic industry. So you keep buying all of their crap and then you are you are then sacrificed for their profits so that right there in of itself is a substantiation that salt does not dehydrate because when people become swollen it actually retains the water so you don't die and if you want to stop the swollenness in your body mind and spirit from water retention drink some freaking water so you don't trigger the anti-diuretic hormone to go and retain a bunch of water in your uh, surface uh, uh, in your vessels, in your blood vessels, because that's what's going on. And then when you increase the, the, the when you um, bring up the antidiuretic hormone, it increases the blood flow, which is, of course, yes, blood, uh, high blood pressure. You know what high blood pressure comes from? People who don't drink enough fucking water. Okay? So this should shut the hell everybody who's saying that salt is dehydrating and Jillian is trying to kill you with, you know, the salt. Da, da, da. Oh no, it's the medical holistic industry that's trying to destroy you. And I could substantiate that because there's edema, lymphedema, all the water retention is a body's defense mechanism to stop the, um, the, the dehydrative process and salt is your insurance policy. So face on you, all of my naysayers, face on you, medical holistic industry, you guys can go kiss my mother butt because you guys don't know what the hell you're talking about. Demonizing the salt when actually it's your insurance policy. Bye.